What's up, everybody? It's Jonathan from Lone Wolf Day Trading, and it's been a while, but I'm excited to be back. You know, I took a little bit of a break, but now I'm really getting back into it. I've, if you follow me on Twitter, you see my tweets because that's what the cool kids do, and I want to be cool like the kids. I'm rebuilding my crypto portfolio, and I'm about a little over 30% up since I created it about a week ago, and I'm really excited about it. I think there's a lot of potential, but some people don't see it that way. They say, Jonathan, why are you doing that? It's it's not going to grow. Maybe like when there's robots and maybe crypto will come you know, together. But no. And I don't want to be the prediction guy. I don't want to be the prediction guy. But it, I, I'll make one so everyone will start to listen to me. This is my prediction. Cryptocurrency is really going to hit the market when a company's formed that builds bangable robots. Bangable robots? Bangable robots. Yes. Their slogan's going to be... We build them, you bang them. Ticker symbol, B-A-N-G. Spoiler alert, I will own majority shares. Is that too much? <laughs> Let's just get to the video. <laughs> All right, so on a more serious note, so cryptocurrency is something that a lot of people aren't familiar with, you know, and at one time, I mean, I wasn't either. I mean, but this dates back to about 2009 when Bitcoin came out. Uh, so it's been around for a good amount of time and it's standard the test of time. So that's why it's very interesting to me. And there's a lot of technology behind it. People just see the coins here, Bitcoin, Ethereum and all that, and they just say, Okay, it's just, you know, uh, something that I can invest my money into. But there's a lot more behind it of what it's actually capable of doing. Um, now, a lot of people may be familiar with the 2017. At the end of 2017, Bitcoin spiked up to about $20,000 a coin. As you can see, now the price is 4000 so it's down about 80%. And that scares off a lot of people. You know, if it was in the stock market, something was down 80%. It's probably going bankrupt or something crazy is going on. But altcoins, Bitcoin, it's just a different story. It truly is. I don't think the world was truly ready for, um, you know, this explosiveness within the price of Bitcoin because everyone was looking at it as a marketing tool or something they could invest in for a quick dollar. And there's just so much more behind these technologies. Um, now, a lot of people ask me, we're looking at the top 100 right now. You can see about the top 10. People ask me, hey, the market cap, you know, how is that calculated? Because that's basically how you're stacking these top 100 uh, cryptocurrencies. And you're just taking the price times the circulating supply. Now, the difference between the circulating supply and the total supply is Bitcoin, for an example, there's 21 million coins uh, for the total supply. 21 million coins, and there's not going to be any more Bitcoin after that. Uh, so these coins have to be mined. It's not physically mining them. I'm sure we all know that. Uh, but it's basically ran through a computer system. Your computer, using a lot of electricity, and it, it will become a lot of time, is solving algorithms and different, uh, definitely, you know, mathematical equations to um, basically mine these blocks. These blocks are adding to the blockchain, which is just the entire thing overall. Uh, and then that's where we're getting this increasing circulating supply. Um, now, with these people that are actually mining them, there are rewards that follow it, which I'll cover in another video, definitely, because there's a lot, there's a, just a lot of verbiage that goes into cryptocurrency. It's more than just looking at, okay, Bitcoin costs this much. Uh, let me see where it's going to go. There's just a lot more behind it as far as the technology. And I, I honestly believe, and this isn't financial advice because I have no finance degree and, you know, on and on and on. Um, but there's just so much potential behind these coins. That's why I'm starting to reinvest and build my portfolio because I can see, you know, it's going in a great direction. Now, with any type of coin, you know, there's going to be something that it has to follow. Within the stock market, I'm sure you know, if the SPY's up, uh, S&P 500's up for the day, if it's down for the day, more than likely a lot of stocks are going to follow in suit. Uh, they're going to follow the pattern. Um, and that's the same thing with cryptocurrency is if Bitcoin's up, then a lot of other coins are going to follow suit. So we see Bitcoin's up currently, Ethereum's up, all these stocks are basically up, you know, because it's following suit with Bitcoin. Now, the one that I'm highly invested in right now would be Litecoin. It's up about 11.63%, which is really good uh, because the price is going up. 
the market cap's going up, and it actually just took over sixth place. It was in seventh, I believe. I actually believe it may have been in eighth place at one time. Uh, Tether was right in front of it, but now it's starting to get pushed back down. Um, but I, I believe there is a lot of potential, especially when these rewards for these mined currencies start to be cut in half. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't know is one reason that the spike occurred in 2017 was basically because the rewards of mining Bitcoin were cut in half. Um, people will ask, okay, well, that happened in 2016. Why did it happen in 2017? Well, it's basically just following the pattern. If you look, Bitcoin, it actually took place in 2012 as well. In 2013, it actually bumped up to a record high of $1,000. From $1,000, it started to drift down a little bit. And then 2017, you see it basically was times 20 up to $20,000. Um, so that's one thing that's very interesting. Another thing is Litecoin's about to go through the same process. Estimated time is um, about August of this year. And I think that has possibly uh, something to do with it. Now, Charlie Lee, uh, the person that's actually over Litecoin, the creator, said that there's not going to be you know, any type of spike in price because of you know, the reward being cut in half. And I mean, he's a smart guy. You know, He keeps a level head. And even though he's the creator of this coin, he's saying something like that means that it's not all about hype, and that's what you need. You need someone that's actually just going to give you the information straight. As you can see over here, we have the World War II photo pictures of German girls. I'll be looking at that later. Um, but as far as right now, I actually, I'll go ahead and I'll just switch it over. Now, this is my portfolio. A lot of people will not show you your, their portfolio because something. I don't know. But it doesn't bother me because, you know, I, I have to be up front and show you guys this is where I stand. You know, I'm not going to hide anything in the dark and say, I own 500 Bitcoin or Litecoin or whatever, and you guys would never know the difference. You know, I'm just trying to be up front, especially to the people that follow me. I have to be truthful with you guys. If I take a loss, you'll see it. You've seen it in my past videos of day trading. I've taken huge losses before. I've also had good winners. Um, but yeah, currently in Litecoin, I own about 10 Litecoin, which is very hard to fathom because, I mean, basically a year ago, I mean, this was up to $350, so that'd be about $3,500. <laughs> but right now, you know, it's it's a little uh, lower. Um, I also have US dollars in there. Uh, another thing I want to show, let me bring this over real quick. This is my Exodus account. Uh, now, this is just giving a breakdown of what I have. I have uh, Dinacoin, I have District OX, I have Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. Um, one I didn't really want to invest in. It was a stupid move, I'll just be honest. And then Ethereum. Um, so here's just my breakdowns. Now with uh, the different, I'll just give a very brief uh, explanation of why I invested in these specific coins. Uh, now again, this is no type of financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy these coins. Make sure you do your own research. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. <laughs> I'm just saying that because different coins are going to fit, you know, different needs in society, I believe. And it's truly what you believe in. It's not all about numbers. It's not all about money. It's truly not. Like I say, money is a happiness. It's freedom. And cryptocurrency is giving us a type of freedom that a lot of people don't really understand. Um, you know, it is a financial freedom because I can spend this wherever I want. Um, you know, if I want to really do whatever, the bank can't tell me to do it. Now, if I want to, I mean, like what happened last year, um, the bank that I have, they said you cannot buy cryptocurrencies with your your credit card or anything. We won't let we won't allow it. And who are you to tell me where I can't spend my money? Like that doesn't make sense. Um, so that's why I'm very excited about crypto coming back. And there's just a lot of stuff that's building upon it right now. As you can see, the prices are going up. <clears throat> um, so with Bitcoin, that's pretty obvious. Bitcoin has a lot of potential, and that's just the home name for it. Uh, now, Ethereum. Ethereum, a lot of coins are based on Ethereum. And also, certain transactions with coins can't take place unless you have Ethereum uh, within your like wallet or however. So if I tried to exchange one coin for another, which you can do with an Exodus, is very nice. You can just do it here. You actually have to have a percentage of uh, Ethereum. So let me get back down here. Uh, Ripple, I don't own Ripple, but this is one that I want to. I just need to find an exchange that I really like to do so. Bitcoin Cash, I bought this way, way back in the day. There was actually a scandal that was behind it, unfortunately, which spiked it up 
<clears throat> I mean, a wild amount. I'm pretty sure it was up to five, six thousand dollars before it was stopped um, because there was a lot of people that had a lot of money that it was a pump and dump basically. Um, now with Litecoin, I've already given my explanation. Charlie Lee, you have the Litecoin Foundation. A lot of people say Charlie Lee, he sold all of his money or he sold all of his Litecoin. He doesn't believe in the product anymore. And that's not true. That's not true at all. A lot of his money, and he even gave an explanation that, hey, I sold my Litecoin so I can have money to start a foundation to really work to improve it. I mean, think about it. If Charlie Lee, you know, he has all this Litecoin, it goes up to an all-time high, he holds it, it goes back to where we are, he's still holding it. I mean, he has no money to improve the product and, and the project. He, it, he just doesn't have money to do it. And you need money to improve anything truly. Um, now I don't have the basic attention token, I believe that's what it is, uh, but it's something I'm definitely looking into. Dinacoin, Dinacoin's very interesting. <clears throat> now this is one that specifically uh, focuses on dental work, you know, and I, I mean going to the dentist. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people will laugh, and you, I mean I would laugh too, trust me. Um, but it's very interesting that they actually have, now not so much in the US, but overseas, um, they have dental clinics that accept Dentacoin. Who would have known? That's crazy, huh? So I, I definitely got back into it. We're up about 12%. Can't complain about that. District OX. District OX is basically uh, their technology is for people to build websites with it. Hey, I mean, that's that's that, that just says it all right there. And then Match Pool. I, I don't know. I, I'm still on the fence with Match Pool. I have a very, very small amount. Um, so still on the fence with it, but that's basically all the ones that I have. I just want to share my portfolio real quick. Looking back at Litecoin and everything, uh, just give a, a brief explanation of why I hold these coins. Uh, we'll go back over to the cryptocurrencies. <clears throat> um, yeah, just a, a brief explanation of my portfolio. Uh, this isn't to give any financial advice this isn't to say i look i own all this cryptocurrency look at me because i don't own anything compared to a lot of people um i'm just showing you this is why i invested in these certain coins and possibly there's something to look at um now of course i i really believe a lot of the potential is i, I think something's going to occur possibly at the beginning or the mid of this year uh, but i truly believe in 2021 22 is where it's really going to kick off. Um, when everything bounced and like really just hit hard in 2017, I don't think the world was ready for it. I truly don't. Um, you know, people saw the investment opportunity. They saw how much return they could get, and that's basically all it was. They didn't believe in the technology. They didn't even know what the technology was. Like, who cares? I just want some money out of this. Um, but there's a really a lot of good that can come to this, uh, and and I truly believe in it now another coin i uh, actually have on an exchange i'll just tell you what it is it's called experience points or experience point coin or xp coin basically i own about 5.4 million um but this is a coin that i has so much potential it's crazy now when i was growing up they said get an education get your degree i did that it hasn't really worked out for me <laughs> so but gaming really hit mainstream i mean people there's competitions people are getting sponsored that's how they make all their that's how they make their living and xp is basically not only is it giving to the gaming world um but it's also to like your daily activities if you, you let's say you complete a college class or do some type of community service you're uh, rewarded with xp coins uh, basically, you're leveling up not only in a video game, but in in some way you're leveling up in life. You know, by if life was a video game, you community service would give you so much XP, or you know, just improving your life in general, you're rewarded with XP. I think that's a really cool project. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to what they have in the future. Now, the one thing that I'm very weary about for any cryptocurrency um, is equivalent to a reverse split. They call it a burn. Uh, which in the crypto world, which basically they're just doing the same thing as a reverse split within the stock market. And that's never a good thing. Um, now, in reality, what we like to believe is, hey, if the um, 
we do reverse split. Just like look at HMNY. That's just the top off my head. I mean, we went from I think it was like a dollar to fifteen dollars, and in like three days it was back to where it was. I mean, so not always if you reverse the supply, if you take down the supply, the demand's gonna go up or it's not always like that. And it's unfortunate that a lot of people believe that. So, you know, I'm hoping the coins that I've invested in, the coins that anyone's invested in truly, uh, they don't go through that process. They think of some way they can advance their technology before they resort to that because it really does hurt the investor. Uh, now, I would love for someone to prove me wrong, you know, because there are certain cases that a reverse split has saved a company and it's just skyrocketed from there. And that's beautiful. It truly is. But for myself personally, I never like for anyone to go through a reverse split or a coin burn uh, and lose money. That that's just I don't think that's fair to the investor. Someone that truly puts like their time and their passion into something and truly believe it, and then that takes place, and it really does break my heart. It truly does. Now again, I just want to make this short video. It probably went a little longer than I thought it would, but I'm just giving a breakdown of my portfolio, the coins that I believe in. Now there are hundreds, thousands of other coins that have potential, don't get me wrong. And I'm still building my portfolio, um, you know, and I will continue to build it, even if Litecoin goes to the roof or Ripple, Bitcoin, however, I'm still gonna build it because I truly believe in the technology. Uh, we're separating ourselves to give the people more control, uh, not so much the government telling you what you can and cannot do. I mean, who is a bank to tell me where I can spend my money or can't spend my money? Who, who are you to tell me where I can do that? I'm a grown person, I'm a grown man, and I'm a taxpayer. I mean, I think that's just fair to me, and I'm just saying that in my own personal belief with no attachment to any type of affiliation of whatever. I just believe that's how it is. I pay my taxes, I, I do my nine to five, I should spend my money where I want to. That's just how it is. And you know, the, the reason was they didn't want people to go into millions of dollars of debt, which I guess that's possible. I'm sure there's credit cards that have million dollar limits. But um, you know, as a mature adult, you know, I, I believe that if I hold a credit card, um, I'm responsible enough to make financial decisions where I'd like. Now, unfortunately, I've had to buy basically my portfolio with cash because of you know certain circumstances, but that's fine. I'm, I'm going in in a smart amount. Um, I'm not just rushing in there, throwing everything in. I'm doing a lot of research. I'm staying up a lot of long nights. I do a lot of research, you know, and I'm watching different videos. I watch YouTube. <clears throat> just because I'm on YouTube doesn't mean that <clears throat> I just watch my own videos. It's not like that. Probably the intros. I probably watch the intros a lot for a good laugh. But other than that, there's a lot of very intelligent people. I think the Crypto Daily, I watched probably about 10 or 20 videos of that um, just on my ride back from out of state. I mean, I watched that the entire time. Very intelligent. Very intelligent. And they give a very unbiased opinion and outlook on crypto. Um, so definitely check them out. Uh, I believe it's Crypto Daily. I definitely recommend them. Never make contact with them, so I'm just saying that out of my own <laughs> own belief. I'm not getting any type of compensation for that. Um, but again, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, uh, down in the comments, let me know if you hold any cryptocurrencies or which ones you would invest in or wouldn't invest in. I really want people just to, you know, just let me know how they feel. I do have my Discord. Um, I'll post that down in the description. But yeah, definitely join. We have. You know, I mean, there's just a really a lot going on. I'm very excited about what the future holds. Of course, and as always, this is Jonathan with Lone Wolf Day Trading. And stay green.